What is up, everyone? Today, I am going to review Uncle Tupelino from Cars 2. And yes, this is another review of another diecast review from Disney Pixar Cars 2. And yes, stay tuned for more. I will do more today and tomorrow and many other days. But right now, I'm doing Uncle Tupelino. Anyways, well, as you know, he is the uncle of Luigi and Guido, and the husband, possibly, for Mama Topolino. And, yes, I will review Mama Topolino soon, if you're wondering. I will do her next after Uncle Topolino, by the way. And, yeah. Anyways, um, let's head on to the appearance of the movie of this character. In the movie, in Cars 2, we only see him in Italy, but he's a pretty cool character. In the movie, we see Uncle Topolino uh, um, re reunited with Luigi and Guido when they got back at Italy with, in the journey with Lightning McQueen Sarge and Fillmore, and mm, mm, a bunch of Fiat's and many other characters, and Uncle Topolino's band, and Uncle Topolino himself came mm, to welcome Luigi and Guido again, and they had a celebrating party when the band um, did their instruments. And the Uncle Topolino's band cars are actually really cool. I really like the die cast of Uncle Topolino's band. And yes, I do have those. And I will review all the members of Uncle Topolino's band. And yes, I will do it. Along with Francesca and Franca. Anyways, as you know, Uncle we see after that we do see Light McQueen really sad and you may already know why if you watch the movie because you know Mater and all that. And we see Uncle Topolion talking to McQueen and this and we see Mama Topolion coming out of the door and that's when we first see her and then when she comes back inside, Light McQueen and Uncle Topolino had to talk, had to talk to each other about, you know, the about Mater and the friend stuff, and the fighting thing, and yeah, and he was like, it's okay to fight, especially best friends, and in the mood, and we, and we know that. Back then, Luigi and Guido used to work for him, and they would fight over everything. They would fight, fight for what Ferrari is the best Ferrari. And when Louis, and when we see Franca right here in the movie, uh, Frank in the movie we see Franca there, and we and Luigi and sort of dance with her, but and. Or Gu and Guido as well, but they were fighting, and and then one and then a blue car Francesca appears and Guido dances with her instead. So that means Luigi has to dance with uh, Franca, and yeah, and when Mama Topolino arrives, and the, she got like a trailer with some stuff there. And then they came out of the. And they came out. Or actually, they came inside the door. And that's when. And that's their final appearance. And. Yeah. Now, for the diecast line, however, Uncle Tupolino had quite a lot. His first release was in. 2011 in the three pack with Luigi and Guido, and he and he is labeled as the exclusive vehicle. And later on from that year, and he was released in the two pack with Mama Topolino, and Uncle Topolino was not labeled as the exclusive car. It was Mama Topolino, 
and they were also releasing the two pack together in as a movie moments line in the 2012 series it, in that year there was they were released in the movie moments line and then um, in 2013 Uncle Tobolino was then re-released again and was in the multi in as a single and he was in the Festival Italiano series and there were 10 characters in the series Uncle Tobolino Mama Tobolino Race Team Luigi and Guido and the last four or, or fuck six out my bad are Francesca, Franca, and all, all the four members of Uncle Tobolino's band. And it was a pretty cool series. I really liked the idea. And yeah. And Uncle Tobolino actually does have one more release, and it is in 2012. And some of you guys may not know it because some a lot of you don't have that pack, but it's the five pack with Uncle Topolino with tires. And in that multi pack, it is called the Porta Corsa Welcome Pack. And it had Light McQueen with party wheels with a different expression, Race Team Luigi and Wheel that look a little bit different, and the Race Team Mater that look a little bit different. Now, Race Team Mater didn't make any sense because he wasn't uh, on that scene. It wouldn't make much more sense if this felt Race Team FOMO or Sarge, but oh well. Or they could have put a new Fiat character there. That would have been cool, but oh oh well. At least the Mater one works. Mm, okay. And for Uncle Topolino, he was. He had. Mm, a stack of tires. That a stack of tires with the rims that matches his, his color and the, the tires that matched him. And it was a pretty cool five pack. I really like that pack. I do have it. I got it on eBay, and it is pretty rare for some reason. I don't know why not that many people have that, but I do know that. Uncle Tobolino with tires had a little bit of a different expression, maybe a little bit of a different model, and yeah. And that was really it for the release of Uncle Tobolino. He had quite a lot. Same with Mama Tobolino and other characters like Otis as well. Mel Dorado, similar thing. But characters like um, Leland Turbo don't have that much in the Die Guest line, only once, along with Raw Torp Redline as well. And as for um, some other merchandise, Uncle Tubbly was in some other merchandise. And if you know about Cars 2, the video game, he was a DLC character in that pack. And in the DLC pack, there was a Cars 2 bundle, and it, he was in that bundle, along with Kabuki Mater, Ivan Mater, and Victor Hugo, and it was a pretty interesting idea. I know it's a little random, but it is all Cars 2 characters at least, so at least it makes sense. And yeah. And Uncle Tomoyo had a, quite a little bit of diecast releases for Disney Store as well. I, there was also a four, four pack that had like a talking Uncle Tomoyo for the Disney Store line, where you, you um, where it had the batteries and on up, on and off switch, and you push the circle button and he talks. That goes the same for Light McQueen in that pack. The Luigi and Wheel, I think, are regular basic ones. But I do know in that pack, Uncle Topolino and Light McQueen does uh, um, have a battery thing, and they do talk in that. And I find that a pretty interesting idea. Like, they did like a lot of cool ideas, like the Wasabi Mater set with the two Sushi Shop titties, one of them being... Daisu Sashimi, and there was a wasabi meter that screams when you push the bottom of the button. 
and made her screams, and he has the wasabi on his tongue. I find that a pretty cool idea. I really like the idea of that. And it really ma- the screen really matches the movie quite well. But anyways, let's go and talk about the die cast of Uncle Tobolino. As you see, he has this really cool, calm expression. He has this um, grill, and the grill is not black, and yes, it's accurate to the movie. I know you may be thinking, I thought grills are black. Well, some of them are gray, but some, t- but Uncle Tobolino's grill is red, and he has these headlights and the tail, and he, I don't know if he really does have a taillight, but I don't know. It looked like he doesn't, though. He does have a spare tire on the back. He has this E, yeah, black top on the roof, just like Luigi. He also has a really cool black um, um, on the fenders. He has his tires, and that look pretty cool. He has a license plate there, and it reads GE-18. 31A6 and he has silver around the windows although not in the back window actually and he has a pretty cool maroon burgundy red color it looks really good on him and yeah that is pretty much it I know it's a long video but mm, hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be making more Disney Pixar Cars videos. And anyways, guys, that's all for the video. So anyways, guys, stay tuned for more Diecast reviews. And anyways, bye now.